Britain is a nation of many faiths, each with its own set of religious values. But increasingly, these strongly held religious beliefs are coming into collision with the secular world, and the fallout from that clash is often painful. Gary McFarlane was a relationship counsellor working for the advice service Relate. He's also a devout Christian and a member of the congregation of the Elium Church in Bristol. He was sacked by Relate after refusing to offer sex therapy to same-sex couples because of his belief that homosexual activity was sinful. I've been a Christian for 30-something years. Um, I am going to have a conflict in my ability to help a same-sex couple to, to, to go over some boundaries that, that, that I am able to go to, but this one goes too far in terms of actually helping them to promote a lifestyle that would conflict with my religious beliefs. Gary's not alone at the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. Three other landmark cases are being heard on Tuesday. Nadia Eweida, a member of British Airways staff, was not permitted to wear a small silver crucifix necklace in line with the company's dress code at the time. Lillian Ladale, a registrar employed by Islington Council in London, refused to conduct same-sex civil partnership ceremonies because of her Christian beliefs. Shirley Chaplin, a nurse at Exeter Hospital in Devon, who was not allowed to wear a crucifix because of hospital safety reasons. All lost their jobs and claimed that the UK government failed to adequately protect their right to manifest their religion, contrary to Article 9 of the European Convention on Human Rights. But some believe their claims are unwarranted. There is an increasingly bitter fight between those who think that religion should be a kind of pass to exempt themselves from the laws that apply to everyone else and those who think that other human rights are important too other than just freedom of religion. The British government is opposing the legal action so it'll be left to the Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg to rule on this vexing issue of religion and belief in the workplace. Judgments expected later in the month. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Bristol.